I supported Roe v. Wade, which had three trimesters. The first time is between the woman and the doctor. Second time is between the doctor and an extreme situation. The third time is between the doctor, between the, the woman and the state. The idea that the politicians, the, the, that the founders wanted the politicians to be the ones making decisions about women's health is ridiculous. That's the last, no politician should be making that decision. A doctor should be making those decisions. That's how it should be run. That's what you're going to do. And if I'm elected, I'm going to restore Roe v. Wade. That means he can take the life of the baby in the ninth month and even after birth, because some states, Democrat run, take it after birth. Again, the governor, former governor of Virginia, put the baby down, then we decide what to do with it. He's, in, he's willing to, as we say, rip the baby out of the womb in the ninth month and kill the baby. Nobody wants that to happen, Democrat or Republican. Nobody wants it to happen. That is simply not true. The Roe v. Wade does not provide for that. That's not the circumstance. Only if a woman's life is in danger, she's going to die. That's the only circumstance in which that can happen. But we are not for late-term abortion, period. Period, period. Under Roe v. Wade, you have late-term abortion. You can do whatever you want, depending on the state. You can do whatever you want. We don't think that's a good thing. We think it's a radical thing. We think the Democrats are the radicals, not the Republicans.